ask uh, ship designer of Aston Martin about new Aston Martin crossover. Okay, so um, probably five doors, as you said. Yes. Big, yeah. Bigger. Yeah, I think space know, in the back. We, like we know, you know, from the architecture yeah. that we are, we have access to mm -hmm. in terms of the, the fundamentals of yeah. where it needs to be. Wheelbase doesn't need to increase dramatically yeah. for the five door, but obviously roof line and the rear compartment for luggage is a very, very important part of what we do. Okay. Are there clues in this car for um, DVN replacement? advantage relations, things like that. I, I think, you know, part of, part of what we're showing here is, if you like, the, the bookends in terms of our spectrum of products. Okay. From sports cars in Vulcan and how that influences the next generation of sports cars. Yeah. So if you see Vulcan as we talk, there's no grill typically. There's no yeah. side graphic. And then if you look at the front end, yeah, and, and very low to the ground. Yeah. Very low bonnet line. If you look at DB10 in the movie, yeah. that also does something very similar. Yeah. And then the DBX really showing the next generation of our GT products. A little bit more genteel, more yeah. jewellery. It's, it's uh, if you like, more of the timeless approach, the timeless feeling. So that continuum of, of power, beauty, and soul. Yeah. This being the beauty element, Vulcan being the power element. Okay. And then the two together give us that great feeling of power beauty and soul. How, what about the electric thing? Is that just to, to push the product, to give it as futuristic a feeling as possible? Or is that realistic? It's, it's realistic. It's something we have to think about. You know, we, we've got to think about future technologies. At the end of the day, there's an inevitability that emissions-free driving will be necessary in certain countries, in certain states, in certain cities around the world. Yeah. So it is a technology that we have to look at and we have to focus on. Yeah. It's, you know, at some point, particularly for the customer we're talking mm -hmm. about, mm -hmm. then that may be a price of entry for that customer. Okay. Because yeah. they won't be the traditional mm -hmm. petrol heads as we know. They are a different generation of younger, more switched on, more aware customers. But presumably if it's going to be a, a global car, you'll need to offer excellent Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, what are these things in there? I'd just like so to pick out just a couple of yeah, sort so of this of is cooler. obviously one of when you're stationary this is a solar trickle charge. Yeah. So effectively it's running the ancillaries in the car when you're okay. stationary. Yeah. The markets that we have to think about, Middle East, certain areas of America, certain areas in China are incredibly hot places. One of the disadvantages of that is when you're parked and the car is switched off, you get solar loading on the inside. So the trickle charge solar panels here run yeah. the air con free of charge effectively, free of cost effectively yeah, yeah. while the car is stationary. So can just trickle the air yeah. We're already proving that technology on our um, Mine Racing uh, Vantage GTE car. So okay. the Vantage GTE runs a solar panel on the roof which solely runs the air con in the car for the driver. Well, it must be really great for that, the drivers. Yeah, well, but Bathurst on the 12 hour race yeah, two or three weeks ago, cabin temperatures were at 65 degrees. So that's how hot it gets. What about these? Um, the what you again? Float, floating pillars. So the glass yeah. house is actually six feet. Yeah. Yeah. And this is again our our jewels. It's solid it's aluminium. Yeah. A very very thin micro layer of aluminium that's machined. Yeah. Even the machining marks in there because yeah, yeah. it's the purity and the raw. Mm -hmm. Why cover up a beautiful material? And that floating element becomes our signature. And you can see that as potentially the, the next generation signature for our genteel GT cars. Cool. Over the next five years, you will see a new product every single year. And I mean totally new. Is it going to be crossover? In the next five years, something new every year. Good morning. Thank you very much. Good luck.